Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our TOEIC unit for today. We all look forward to that, don't we? Oh yeah. And、uh, today we're going to be talking about a tour of a factory.、Oh. But this is a specific tour. Someone's looking at a factory in order to increase production, to make things more efficient, to have some factory improvements. Oh, I see. Well, if you are going to a factory. Or some factories, you're going to be going into a building or a group of buildings where products are produced. They're manufactured there, so there are usually a lot of big pieces of machinery. Nowadays, we're getting more and more robots working、mm. in factories instead of people. I'm all for using robots if it's dangerous, if that particular part of the assembly is dangerous. But I hate that we're losing jobs for people. But、uh, they're going to go and see if. They can improve the factory somehow. We've got two characters, Kathy and Frank. I'm going to be Kathy. Tom, is that okay? Uh, no, I want to be Kathy. I want to <laughs> practice my female voice. No, of course that's reasonable. Okay, you can be Kathy in today's lesson. Let's so yeah, let's、uh, let's get to it, everybody.、Okay. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson, and then we'll come back to discuss it. Hi there, Frank. I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time today. That's okay, Kathy. However, I'm not sure if I understood your email correctly. Is the board of directors under the impression that the factory is inefficient? No, it's not that. It's just that we believe we can do better. First of all, let me say that we're extremely satisfied with your work. The reason I'm here. Is to find out if we can improve our production efficiency, and to get your opinion on how to do it. I see. Well, we could probably implement some new procedures. We would also benefit by upgrading some of our older machines. Both of those options will be expensive, though. We can save the machinery for a later discussion. Can you explain what you mean by implementing some new procedures? To be honest, a lot of our procedures are a bit old, and they've been modified numerous times over the years due to changes in equipment or regulations. We don't really have the time or manpower to organize them. Do you have any suggestions? I think the best thing to do would be to hire a consulting firm. That will allow us to get on with production while they analyze every aspect of the factory to see what can be done. They'll be able to inspect everything with a critical eye. Okay, guys, we're going to be talking about a factory tour and two folks, and one of them is intent on making the factory more efficient.、Uh, maybe、uh, talking about some improvements that can be made. It sounds like Kathy is from headquarters, and Frank might be the supervisor of the factory there. And of course, he's the one who has、uh, the day-to-day -day knowledge of what's going on. So he's somebody that Kathy wants to definitely consult. With and get advice from. Yeah, he's probably the factory manager. He's right there on the front lines.、Yeah. He knows what's happening. So Kathy very wisely、mm. is talking to him about the actual factory and making those improvements. So she greets him. Hi there, Frank. I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time today. So she's of course being very polite here,、yeah. and she knows that Frank is a busy man. He has to handle all those employees、yeah. and all that equipment and stuff. So she says, "Yeah, I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time." Time. Here, the verb phrase to take something up means to occupy or use something, and in this case, to take up someone's time. To take up too much of your time, you can often say this to somebody if you're meeting with them and you know they're busy with something、yeah. else. I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time today. Yeah, that's a nice thing to say. I hope I'm not using too much of your time. That's that's the same thing. I hope I'm not too much trouble. Yeah, Frank is very polite. Of course, that's okay, Kathy. She probably. Probably has power over him、um, in his position, so I would be polite too. He says, "However, I'm not sure if I understood your email correctly." He's afraid, perhaps she's there because they're not satisfied with the job the factory's doing. So he just wants to make sure that everything's okay. He says, "Is the board of directors under the impression?" 
that the factory is. Inefficient or not making good use of the time they have. Board of directors are a group of people. Typically, they come from other companies, and they sit on a board of directors for a company, and they have the final say in、uh, what goes on in the company. In particular, they can decide who the CEO is going to be and whether to. Kick him out, so they have a lot of experience. They're experienced business people from other industries, and、uh, he wants to know if they think the factory is inefficient. If you're under the impression that something is true, that's your viewpoint. That's your opinion that something is the case. You heard someone say something, or somebody said something to you,、yeah. and so that gave you this idea. It kind of gave me the impression that. You don't really like working here. Maybe you'd like to quit or something. Or you're giving me the impression that you'd like to break up with me. What did I do wrong? Uh oh. Okay, so these are maybe possible situations in which you might misunderstand the other people. So、uh, they got an email here, and he thought, hmm, maybe they're saying that we're being inefficient. We're not efficient. We're wasting time. Another way we talk about this is to say, I get the feeling that. So I'm under the impression that is a little more formal than I get the feeling that、uh, you guys aren't happy with what I'm doing. Then Kathy is quick to say, no, 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 no. It's not. That she wants to make sure he understands that the board of directors and the headquarters—they all think that the factory workers and he, he,、uh, Frank, as the supervisor, is doing a great job.、Uh, they're satisfied. In fact, they're extremely satisfied with、uh, the work that's being done. That's a good thing to hear. And she says, "The reason I'm here." Is to find out if we can improve our production efficiency and to get your opinion on how to do it. Because Frank probably has、uh, some of the best ideas. He's there day day in day out. When you talk about efficiency, guys, it's a very important word, especially in business. It means、um, the ability to get things done in the least amount of time using the least amount of resources. You don't want to waste anything. That's bad.、Mm-hmm. Efficiency. That's the noun form, and the adjective is. Efficient.、Uh, I like workers who are efficient. For example, who doesn't?、Okay? Yeah, no kidding. And this is、uh, very wise of Kathy. Of course, I've、uh, been in a lot of situations where the board or the directors or the boss himself just decides, "Well, we're just going to do this. This is what I think. I got this idea. I saw a TV show last night or something. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do." No, this is the wiser thing here. You actually talk to people in your own company. You're paying them, so you might as well get their opinions. So Kathy is talking to. Frank, he's right there in the factory, so she is getting it straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, that's a really good phrase. What does that mean? Straight from the horse's mouth.、Uh, getting it directly from the source, basically. Yeah, you're not listening to rumors, right? Yeah, you're not listening to rumors.、Uh, you're not、uh, under the impression from other people.、Yeah. You pretty much are getting it straight from the source. And、uh, of course, she complimented him and said he's doing a great job. So we're not criticizing you. We just want to get your opinion. So he says, "I see." That's smart. And、uh, then he goes on to say, "Well, we could probably implement some new procedures." Okay, so this is his opinion here on how to improve production efficiency. He thinks they should probably implement some. New procedures here. Implement as a verb just means to put something into place to start using this thing.、Mm-hmm. It could be a thing itself, or an idea, or a plan, or something. We're going to implement some new plans, for example.、Uh, implement some new procedures, and a procedure, of course, is a way of doing things. And of course, if you had a good procedure, then of course things are efficient. That's right. So、uh, they might change maybe the order that they do something in. A procedure is a series of actions, so they might change that. He also says we would also benefit by upgrading some of our older machines. Of course, that's quite expensive, and so his next sentence is:、uh, both of those options will be expensive, though. That's really true.、Um, so maybe they take one thing at a time. If you have a couple of things that aren't working, you don't fix both of them at the Same time,、uh, because it's usually too expensive. If you benefit from something, you gain an advantage, or you profit from something. It's something that will help you、uh, improve an area. So we'll benefit by upgrading. If you upgrade a machine, it means. Usually, you go out and buy the newest, the latest, or the newest version of something.、Uh, we've all heard you have to upgrade your software, right?、Mm-hmm. Uh, if you upgrade software, you get the latest version that's on the market. Of course, that's 
Usually expensive. Yeah, should I upgrade to Windows 10? I'm still using Windows 7.、No. I'm not sure if I should upgrade just <laughs>、no. yet. You say no. Okay, so I'll keep、uh, Windows 7 for now. Well, both of these options,、uh, Frank goes on to say, both of these options will be expensive. An option is a choice, something that you can choose from,、uh, either from one thing or two things or more. So these are different options. I've got lots of options. What am I going to do after I graduate from high school? I could、uh, take a year off. And work and make some money, or I could、uh, go to college. I could、uh-huh. go to community college, or maybe I could、uh, take some night classes and learn another language or something.、Oh. These are different options that I have,、mm-hmm. and these options might be expensive to,、uh, you know, upgrade their machines or try some new procedures. It might cost them some money. It, it probably will. And you notice that we're using that word machinery, which is the plural form for machines. Of course, you can say machines, guys. You can. Add an S to machine, and it's fine. But machinery、um, is what we use typically when we're talking about a whole group of machines together. So、uh, she wants to have him explain what he means by quote implementing some new procedures. What exactly does that mean?、Um, A lot of times, people can speak the same language, and we still ask each other, "Hey, what does that mean exactly?" Because people might have different interpretations or viewpoints of something, and that's what's going on here. So he wants to be honest, and、uh, he says a lot of our procedures are a bit old.、Uh, usually, with some of these companies, they have. Uh, rule books or SOP books, standard operating procedures that have been in existence for a while, and maybe you know they're just too busy to update or upgrade anything. So、uh, they just keep using the same old procedures, and maybe they could do something that's、uh, going to cut off some of the time, save them some time, and make them more efficient. Absolutely. So yeah, to be honest, to tell you the truth, to be straight with you, these are kind of out of date procedures. Maybe they're procedures that they put in place before the rise of the internet, or before people had cell phones,、yeah. or before there were robots in the factory and stuff like that. So, of course, they've been modified a lot of times.、Mm-hmm. Uh, to modify something just to means to make a slight change in something, but you don't actually totally change the thing. You just、uh, mix it around here and there. You modify different things, but、uh, still, the machine or the procedure is pretty much the same. As it was before, it's just a little different.、Mm-hmm. Uh, now they they have modified things several times or numerous times, quite a few times over the years. Why? Due to this is the reason. It's due to changes in equipment or regulations. A regulation is a rule. Usually, we use regulations when we're talking about rules within a company. Or within a group,、um, I wouldn't use regulations、uh, to talk about laws that we have to obey. And if we break those laws, we get arrested by the police. Those aren't regulations; those are laws.、Mm. So it's very serious. A regulation is a rule or some sort of direction that you're given by someone who has authority. And typically, we use this when we talk about some, even some government rules or regulations that if you don't abide by them or don't. Follow them. You don't get arrested, but you might have to pay a fine, pay some money.、Mm-hmm. So they've had changes in the equipment and regulations, but、uh, they don't have time or manpower to organize those changes or those procedures or whatever. They're too busy working from day to day. They're trying to produce as many products as possible, so they just don't have time to make the changes necessary to those procedures.、Uh, they need to have something else done. And Kathy then has a question. She says, "Do you have any suggestions?"、Yeah. So she understands the situation there, and she's not going to say, "Well, here's what we're going to do." Okay, the board has decided we're going to do this. No, no, she knows that Frank、uh, knows about this stuff. He's on the front lines there, so she asks him. She asks him for any suggestions. I think she's really respectful. I mean, this is his territory. This is his area that. He has a lot of expertise in, and so she doesn't just barge in,、uh, you know, come in and demand that he do something. She asks for his advice and suggestions. I think that's really smart. He's probably someone who has also worked there for years and years and years, and has a lot of skill and ability, and knows what they should do. 
He says, "I think the best thing to do would be to hire a consulting firm. A consulting firm is a company that has expertise in、uh, several industries,、uh, not every industry. And there are some consulting firms that only specialize in manufacturing, or、uh, some who only specialize in pharmaceutical companies."、Uh, I was with a, a consulting firm in New York, and. Uh, we had a lot of different specialties, but our primary one was pharmaceutical companies, because of Pfizer, which was right there in New York. So they come in.、Uh, it's a team of consultants. They're very smart people. They interview everyone. They look at what's going on, and then they come back with recommendations, which cost a lot of money.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> There'll be a big meeting and everything,、yeah. and here are our suggestions, and、uh, this is why we think you could do this, or stop doing that, and、yeah. start doing this, or something. So yeah. Yes, his suggestion is to have maybe somebody who is neutral come in and just take a look at what they're doing, and then they can get their opinions from them. And he goes on to say that will allow us to get on with production while they analyze every aspect of the factory to see what can be done, so they can get on with their job. They can keep working without being interrupted. Get on with it. Just do it. Don't stop. Don't stall. Don't delay. And so. So the consulting firm will analyze every aspect. To analyze just means to look at something and examine it, and to make some conclusions about it. And aspect just means、uh, different parts. Or features of something,、mm-hmm. uh, they could look at the aspect of the workers, of the equipment, of the temperature in the factory. Who knows? There are all sorts of different aspects to consider. Yeah, parts of the factory and the production that they'll look at. It says in the last sentence they'll be able to inspect everything with a critical eye. Inspect is similar to examine. You're looking at something closely, typically because you want to assess the condition of that thing. Or discover some of the problems, flaws, shortcomings of that particular、uh, factory item, friendship, project, whatever it is. If you look at something with a critical eye, of course you're looking at something in order to discover where it needs to be improved, what's not working well enough. So if you、uh, look at something with a critical eye, you're typically trying to、uh, point out some of the shortcomings or flaws so it can improve or get better. Right now, someone who is always going to be able to help you improve is our Chinese teacher. Let's listen now. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny. 今天我们看的是第十一单元。那今天呢，这个主题就是在谈工厂效能怎么提升。好，首先呢，对话内容呢有一些重要的片语句构，我们要看一下。在第一个绘画里头，哎，我们先注意到了。他提到说，嗯 ，I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time. 其实这个还算是蛮常用的一种讲话这个对白开头的一种表示客气的说法。那这个 take up 也是一个很重要的片语。这个 take up 代表占用。哎，我希望没有占用你的时间哦。这样这样子的开头其实很客气的啊、哦。那不过我们再提一下，就是 take up。当然，除了占用之外，它还有一个常用的意思，就是哦，当你要接受一个呃工作，或者是要接受一个责任 ，take up a duty， take up a responsibility， 你也是会用 take up 这个片语。其实它是蛮实用的一个。好，再来我们看下面继续说到，好，这个对话内容里面，当然之前他们有些信件的往返，这个 email 里面呢，它的。嗯，可能有一些的说法。那不过这里我们了解，他提到，嗯，我不确定我是不是有了解你的 email 内容。这个 F， 我们知道 F， 它本来就有两个解释，一个呢是如果在这边是是否，而且你知道，它当 F 如果做是否的话，在这个地方就是一个所谓的受词用的一个名词子句哦。好，我们再来继续下面，他就说了，嗯，那这个董事会啊，他会不会觉得这工厂没什么效率？注意到这个片语 ，under the impression that。
这个 under the impression 本来就是有什么样的印象，那他们是不是有这样子的印象，有这样的想法，他们的感觉是不是如此？好，我们可以善用这个片语。好，再来下面的对白，他继续说了。这个 Kathleen 呢，他主要呢就是要解释说，不是，其实呢是认为说可以做得更好。那第一点 ，first of all， 他要先讲清楚哦，是很满意的，并不是不满意。但接下来才是真的重点。他说 ，the reason I'm here， 好，这句话才是关键点。为什么来这里？是为了。好，下面注意到，我们知道 the reason is 后面当然就是要接理由了。不过呢，它的理由其实有两点要讲，所以你看到了 to find out blah 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 and to get your opinion blah blah blah， 其实它。有两个点，好，那这两个点呢？我们知道还有 a n d 连接两个不定词片语。好，接下来下面呢 ，Frank 他当然会继续再说明一下，嗯，可以怎么做。首先呢，他想到的是，也许可以有一些，嗯，所谓的 new procedures， 实施的新的程序。那另外。一个做法就是 upgrading some of our older machines， 意思就是要让老旧的机器去升级。不过他也知道这两件事做起来都要花钱的。那我们知道这里有一个不过，其实不过啊，在口语里面我们常常用 though though 这个字，它当不过的意思。是一个副词哦，所以你看它出现的位置上是一个副词的位置，它也有可能像这里一样摆在最后面，逗点隔开放在最尾巴。好，这是语气上的一个副词。接下来呢，下面呢，他又说了，嗯 ，Cass Cassie， 他当然是啊、呃，讲到说他有一点不懂，就是所谓的新的程序是什么意思。那我们注意到，当你告问人家一个问题，说：“哎，你什么什么是什么意思呢 ？”What do you mean by？ 好，这个 by 注意到介系词 by， 嗯、um, ，by something 就是你刚刚提的这个东西到底是什么意思？我们如果用中文来想的话，常常不会想到介系词是 by， 可是这个要特别的注意哦，因为嗯，在用语里面，介系词其实是蛮难记的，而且它常常是。有一种它本来特殊的用法，而且跟你想的可能不同。好，再来下面呢 ，Frank 跟 Cathy 的对白里面，我们知道他们最后当然两个人有达到了某一个共识。这个共识就是说，哎，我们应该怎么做才好？就是 The best thing to do would be to hire a consulting firm。好喽，这个结论呢，对，当然就是我们下一篇。要解释的，哎，这 consulting firm 它分析的结果是如何？好，我们今天的解释就到这边为止，谢谢大家。Okay, guys, it's、uh, time to look at our extra dialogues and talk about those a little bit, and then、uh, focus the last portion of our program on the discussion question. Tom, do you want to be A or B this time?、Uh, I'll be A. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Go. When was the last time our procedures were reviewed? We had a review last year, but it wasn't comprehensive. Okay, so of course the question is, when was the last time our procedures were reviewed? Our procedures, of course, refer to the ways in which we do things,、uh -huh. and you know, things change. The market changes, products change, materials change, models change. So, of course, their procedures need to be reviewed. To look at something again is to review. You often review, of course, before a test. You've studied、mm -hmm. all the information. You've done the exercises. You've done your homework over the semester, but now you're getting ready for the test, and you need to review, look at it again, and make sure you understand it. That's right. Well, the answer was we had a review last year, 
But it wasn't comprehensive. If、oh, something's、no. comprehensive, it clu- includes everything, or almost nearly all the elements or aspects of something. So it's、uh, you have a really, really solid idea of what's going on. So、uh, maybe you need to go and get a physical, but it's not comprehensive. Maybe they don't check your heart, but they check your blood. You know things like that. So if you do something that's comprehensive, you You make sure you cover everything, all of the elements. So it was probably too、uh, simple of a review, and it ended up not really helping very much.、Mm. Okay, I'm going to be A in the next conversation.、Okay. So here we go. How long do you think a review of the factory would take? I expect that a full review might take one to two months. Okay, so here's the question: How long is it going to take? You're going to have a review of the factory. They're going to look it over. Maybe you're going to hire a consultancy or a consulting firm, and they're going to inspect and analyze and review everything. But how long is that going to take? How long do we have to have these people in our factory asking us questions or watching us? Gee, how long is that going to take? How much time are they going to need? And of course, the answer is. Is、uh, the full review, or you could say the comp- a comprehensive review, might take one to two months. I want to mention here, guys. You can also say how long do、uh, you think a review of the factory will take?、Mm. Would is being used because we're not even sure if we want to go forward with this. It's a、uh, it's a, a possibility,、uh, but you could use will there as well. So、um, I mean, you could answer. I expect that a, a full review may take. One to two months. Those are both correct. Okay, next one, Tom. I'm going to do A this time. Okay. Are you able to recommend a consulting firm? Yes, I would approach <laughs> Masterson's. They're the best in the business. Ah, good. Now,、uh, like I explained briefly in the program, we have lots of different kinds of consulting firms.、Uh, one consulting firm may only work with,、uh, for example, accounting accounting firms. They check books and they do things like that. You might have a full service consulting firm like McKinsey.、Uh, McKinsey has experts in everything: in oil and gas, pharmaceuticals. Uh, maybe airline expertise, everything like that. So they're very, very bright people who have worked in that industry for a while, who are able to go in and, as Tom said, give a neutral,、uh, give a neutral opinion about what's going on. Sometimes, if you ask people within your company what's wrong, they have、uh, they have. Biases. They're not always neutral. Well,、uh, I wonder if you could hire a consulting firm to look at the government and see what's <laughs> wrong there.、Uh, it'd probably be, be very、uh. impossible to find somebody who is neutral in、yeah. that, though. Everybody's political, but in any case, here,、uh, the person being asked this question says that he, me, I would approach Masterson's. You can go to them, ask them for advice, hire them because they are the best in the business. They've got a good reputation, and therefore, you should hire them. And here. Here's our discussion question, Tom. Are you an efficient worker? Give an example to support your answer.、Uh, I guess it depends on what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess I'm efficient most of the time because I see it as a challenge to try to get as much stuff done in a short amount of time as possible. But、uh, on other things, maybe I'm a little bit more lazy and just want to hang out, and I don't really care if I do a good job or not. How about you? Uh, well, doing a good job has nothing to do with being efficient. I think efficient is just you take too much time and you waste you waste resources. I'm not always efficient, I must say.、Uh, but if I am determined to do something quickly, I can be efficient. But for example, I'm trying to write or help write a dictionary right now at home. And you know, I'll watch TV while I'm writing because I get bored. And check your social <laughs> networking sites so, on your smartphone、exactly. all the time too. So, so I'm not efficient, but I'm getting it done. You sure are, and we don't need to hire a consultancy firm to take a look at your job performance, do no, we? Okay,、no. that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And hopefully you can make some improvements in your own efficiency and improve your English by leaps and bounds. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.